Hey YouTube, well there you go, snow's been snowing and um, yeah I've been kind of injuring my finger, look at that, can you see it, I don't know if you can get it, it won't focus in because I've got it focused on me, um, but yeah I clunked it between a bit of wood um, while stacking logs, nice, <laughs> heard a crack and I thought ouch, um, and then yesterday I was play fighting with my son and um, he kicked and I blocked and my finger cracked so playing guitar is extremely painful but we'll get through it, all right? Now, before we get in with that lick, little life hack. Take a Boss pedal and a studio battery powered LED light, which is not sponsored by the way, I'm just saying, because I bought one of these and I used it, one of these for Skype lessons just so I can sort of light everything up um, away from the actual studio lights which are there. But you take the pedal, take the studio light and you've got a light stand. Haha, <laughs> how's about that? Look at that. Really scary, right? <laughs> right, anyway, let's get on with that lick. Lick done. Um, it's uh, it's a good one in the sense of technique because you're using octaves. You're using sort of hammer-ons and put not hammer-ons. You're using pull-offs, and there's some sort of swift, fluent picking through the blue scale. So you're starting off. Where are we starting? We're starting in the E position itself. So we've got an E octave, and then you're moving up the minor scale until you reach an A note. Um, just using the octaves and then you're running down what is technically a blue scale and then back up that blue scale so it's bringing in two sides the octaves and then the pull-off sort of technique with a little bit of fluent picking so a couple of things to take into consideration are you need to get the tab on that website up there and also if you haven't done so already please subscribe and like and hit that bell button because it all helps with the algorithms and pushes these forward and if you haven't done so share these videos that'd be amazing because i think my channel needs a bit more support please beg ah um yeah anyway so if you can take into consideration the whole picking aspect of this there's a quite a nice sort of fluent picky bit so practicing the scale um, just that little run where it goes down the blue scale and then back up the blue scale is going to be quite imperative to making this work. So that's down to you to really sort of focus on that and try and keep it true to yourself, speed wise, etc. And um, just really enjoy it. And that's the only thing I've got left to say about the lick. That brings me to if you would like more lessons with me, then please visit the Patreon page, as there's also just a support slot, which is $1 a month, which supports this channel and makes things happen. So, thank you so much for all my patrons that I've got so far, which is on the increase, which is flipping amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, just come along, say hi, give me some suggestions. You can suggest on there what you would like to see in these videos. And um, there's some more stylized licks coming up in the near future. So, with that all said, website patreon bell button subscribe share everything you can and here is the breakdown so the old breakdown uh, i'm still in tune so that's good um we've got a, a simple octave run in many ways all you're using is that natural minor scale so you get that an octave now the way i play octaves is i end up muting the middle string between the two notes that you're fretting so that's obviously quite important especially if you're doing that type of thing which you may find you end up doing at some point um, so but for this one it's not as important to mute that middle string it's just i'm giving you a heads up onto what to do if you do do octaves blimey that was a mouthful so we've got the so I'm basically coming from the 7th fret on the A string to the 9th fret on the G string. So you've got an E and another E, hence the octave. Back to the E note, sliding that up to an F sharp. So, okay, so you see what I did there? So I'm sliding the 9, sorry, 7 up to the 9. And then you go with the little finger you're going on to the 11th fret this is both on the a and g strings for these for these octaves okay and then you're going back to the ninth fret sliding that up to the 10 
and then your little finger goes on to the 12. Back to the 10, slide up to 12, and then this is where I change fingers as well. Um, so I'm bringing in that third finger. This is, again, it's an octave still. I'm just replacing what would be the little finger with the third finger, and that is the 14th fret on that third string. So you end up with... Add a bit of vibrato in if you want to. Um, and then you've got the blues scale run. Now you're missing out the first blues note on the way down, which would be uh, the uh, B flat on that third string. Um, and go in. And you're missing out the blues scale altogether on the way up, so it's just a purely a pentatonic in the key of E minor. So we've got on the way down is the um, 12th fret second string. Then you're going on to the 14 on the third string and you're going to pull that off to the 12th fret. So same on the next string, 14, 12 pull off. Then it's 14, 13, 12, all picked. So you get... Okay, so you should be ending up on a down pick on that 12th fret. Then you, as you've picked that, you then slide that down to the 10th fret on that fifth string. Going to the 12, because you're in the right position then, to bring your third finger into that 12th fret on the thick string. Back to the 10 on the th fifth string. Then you're going to pick the 12, this time with your third finger, and then slide up to the 14. So, okay. So you end up with that. enough then the next part is all picked through the pentatonic scale from that 14th fret which is 12 14 12 14 12 15 okay so I'll play it slow for you now and it goes something along the lines of this At the end once again so that's it um if you haven't done so get that tab off the website if you haven't done so already go and visit the patreon page there may be something there which you want so some of the jamming tracks you won't find on youtube this one is um but a majority of them at the moment are not um so yeah just really focus on the way you're going to play it and enjoy the lick and get jamming over that iron maiden style track right nice see you later